What's up guys, today is Friday. Finally, finally, Friday. It's been one hell of a week. Hell of a, if you don't know what that is. Anyway, as you guys can see, we've got a complete shop full. Hamilton's out here, so let's go take a look and see what he's got. Diesel likes it on here. He's the snap on treats are good. Snap on treats. Yeah, I had to delete my or get me a new car. That other one got the one for this one working. Look at that hair, Wally. Delete that one. Brass brushes. Same thing. Brush my hair good. Brush your teeth. This you got another day to wait tomorrow. We'll wait till tomorrow. Right. Yeah, those are nice. Nice, nice. Uh oh, Bill. Oh no. Oh, it's red oh. and orange. It ain't a green one. Well, I got the long green one. I need one of them little short ones, which he ain't got. Little short one. That'd be the right, about the right size with the flex head. But Flexi head. Yep. Oh, I got some new Polar Tech Plus on here. I may just have to steal that one Wally's got. What? Nothing. You weren't paying attention? You know, Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what, uh, what is this one? It print, does the printout, don't it? Yeah, that's the fully automatic one up right there. Ooh, I don't know. I'm wanting a fully automatic. I mean, you can still do it manual like yours, but it's do the. Uh, yeah, but at least for mine, it looks like you're doing something when you're working. <laughs> hey, you can pull your chair up beside this one and make That's it look right. like you're doing something. That's right. Yeah, just uh, Them things are fine right there, son. All right. Is that the dual one or is that just the no, 134? Just, just the 134. Well, I love that one I got. We got a, actually do have a dual on the way. Uh, yeah, somebody wanting to check it out. Hopefully. When I buy it, hopefully they want it, so we'll find out and see. That'd be good. That'd be good. What do you think about the diesel? He's already sitting down. <laughs> already waiting. They said it's a good day. It's it a good day. Diesel loves snap on Friday. <laughs> he does. He said that. I've been here done that. I know you got more one of them. Well, what all it's you got in there? I like them brush sets. These? Yeah. Yeah, I ordered these the end of the day. I can send them away from the circuit knees. I got the steel and the copper. Or brass. brass, I mean, not copper. But uh, I just sold a couple of these this morning. Everybody like them. Now. New fancy do nothing store. Bill, that's about normal right there. And <laughs> you yeah. guys want to see what normally goes on in the shop? Right there is what it looks like. He's not that's watching butterflies head. this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! And that's it. Wally in his natural habitat. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Sitting on the stool. What was that country song sitting on a stool acting like a dang fool or something like that? <laughs> I think that was that song name of uh, Wally. Yeah, I was thinking about Wally. <laughs> Rough on old Wally back there. I'm telling you. I'll take it. He needs it. Wally, oh, you talking about something new? The P1000. New scanner we got out. P is for power sports. It can do automotive, uh, like the Ethos. But right now, we only got motorcycle, but we are getting four-wheeler and ATV, simulator boats, and stuff like that in it also. But you got your main uh, motorcycles. You got the BMW, Ducati, Honda, Kawasaki, Victories, Harleys, Indian, Suzuki, and Yamaha. Cool. They're pretty neat. Motorcycle guy will love that one, too. Yeah, I hope so. I got four of them on the way. I hope they do. 
book ain't been used much either. And it was scratched up on the nose kind of. Well, I had this over. See, I got a a red impact. I mean, a green impact with a red cover, and they have a red impact with a green cover. You can have this if you want to. They should have swapped that out, shouldn't they? Yeah. But they had that over. They fit it pretty decent. Went through bad. Got these two lights down here with it also. Yeah. I can use mine like that right there all the time. I didn't think of mine when working on the race car and stuff with the uh, battery magnet. Make it work great. What you thinking about today, Bill? Well, he still ain't got one I'm wanting, so. The ratchets. Yeah. Well. We got, well, those are the ones we got in this week was these, the straight ones. But we got some more coming in today. I'm not sure what I was going to be in them. I ain't seen the list yet. Yeah. What about you, Wally? Got a couple of things in mind, mostly just replacement tools. Uh, replacement. You know why he has to replace tools? Why is that? You're going there and walk around the shop, look all over the floor. <laughs> they that. should be all in my roll cart at the moment. Like he don't like need it. a toolbox, he just leaves them in the floor. Well, is that, well, I pick them up. I'll be back down there tomorrow, working on something else. <laughs> yeah. But he's like, can I borrow your 15 mines up there out of that truck? <laughs> is that not right, Wally? Not right. <laughs> it's right. He don't want to walk to the other end of the shop. <laughs> No, that's where he left it yesterday. Yeah, so I'm talking, he don't want to walk no. up there that in the shop to get it. So I don't want to have to get back underneath the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Too much exercise. Yeah, the magnet ain't long enough. Mm -hmm. There's doing nothing still won't allow him to get to it. He's just going to have to stay there. <laughs> Till the truck moves at least. <laughs> yeah, back the car out yesterday that he'd been working on for three weeks. And I walked through and picked up wrenches and extensions and... Extensions. I know they was two late, two wrenches laying on the floor under it. Well, I seen them when it was back out. Like a five gallon bucket or something. He's going to find it throwing that five gallon bucket. And while he's going to start missing his toes and wonder where they at, but you can't tell him where the bucket is yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be no more ideas now. Cold hearted right there in the wall. Exactly. Take beers on the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Bill coming here and wait. I got a bucket I want to trade in. Wally Bill, I want to buy that. I lost mine. <laughs> I need a good use 15. <laughs> Good. That was cleaned up. It can't be wallet. That was cleaned up. It can't be wallet. That's right. Yeah, that was too dirty to be mine. So that's got to be Wally's. <laughs> Wally, they say that they don't use theirs, or you just don't clean yours afterwards. Don't clean mine afterwards. Don't clean yours afterwards. He's getting better, though, because, see, he's watched me clean mine. He's actually been using tub of towels and cleaning his up when he finally picks them up out of the floor. But what you had to tell him yesterday? Put the lid on my damn tub of towels and <laughs> dry them out. If it ain't one thing, it's another. I know it. <laughs> I got a ritual. Ended. Like my tools, they they just like me. If they get dirty, I take a bath. And they do the same thing. I got an idea. Why don't we just get him a shot collar and every time he screws up, mash the button on it. He'll be a bit <laughs> like by five o'clock. <laughs> Or the batteries be dead in it. <laughs> Tell him what happened Friday, Bill, when I sent you a video. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I done got home now. No, I hadn't. I was, I was on the way home. Send me a video. He's like, I was checking the shop to make sure everything was locked up. Walked to the back door, and the lock handle, the lock knob was turned sideways. After we had done told him, make sure the door was locked. I locked this front door. I just forgot the back one. I might guess say doors next time. He just heard door, how it is. Mm -hmm. So we had to put him on uh, shop shutdown detail. <laughs> Supervised, no less. <laughs> Supervised shutdown. All this down. week. Yeah, he'll go lock the door at the back in the evenings when we get ready to leave. And I'll say Bill, he'll be right behind him. Like Wally will move his hand off the knob, <laughs> Bill will reach over and check it. <laughs> better off like Wally let me show you how to lock that door again. <laughs> yeah I had to take him back there and show him how that to actually do it by yourself did he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You might get him a sign out sheet, lock the back door, <laughs> right Wally beside it. Watch the front door, put Wally beside it. Have to have a co-signer. <laughs> That's it. Bill's not to sign <laughs> off on it before, I, before Wally can leave. <laughs> I, I tell you what if we're gonna do that we might as well just take his doggone truck keys and after me and Clay have gone around and checked everything that he's supposed to do, 
then he can leave. <laughs> hey, the other day, we was backing out to leave. This is a good one. While he's like, whoa, 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 hold on. I'm like, what? He's like, I forgot my, what was it, your cell, cell phone? phone? Yeah. But you know, he's like Mr. Rogers. He comes in every morning and he changes his shoes and takes his sweater off. <laughs> And then before he leaves in the evening, he does the same thing. I even got my own thing. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What shoes have you changed out of? He changes out of his work boots and puts on like regular shoes. Oh, okay. One day he come in here with some the house. One day he come in here with some Sunday go to meeting shoes on. Mm -hmm. What it look like? Well, he's a pimp. He's a pimp or a preacher, one of the two. That's all the people wear some kind of shoes. He cusses way too much to be a preacher, so I'm going to say he got to be a pimp. I thought you said he's. I thought you was going to say he cusses too much to be a, a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be that. Nope. On right there. I think all of them will be pretty close to the same size, or? I, well, no, they're very yeah, they're drastically. Because <clears throat> I got one tap in there that's about half inch drive. So we got like tap sockets, which I ain't got none of now, but they're all like deep sockets. But all it does is make the tap longer. Will it work on that though? Well, I mean, it'd be the same as this right here, right. but they're just deep. All it does is push your tap out a little bit further for some reason. I guess I'm gonna cut this thing off guys and we'll show you what all we got you know hanging there all right guys y'all seen Hamilton had a bunch of stuff on the truck today and we almost bought him out um, Thomas the train wreck wasn't on there today uh, Hamilton said he was sick so we bought a bunch of stuff today anyway let's go over what we got real quick I'll start with Bill's pile he got the long high-vis Pick set, the part number is a SGLASA604BHV. I said it really fast. I'll put it right now. Um, let's go to Wally, Wally's pile. He got two scrap iron stickers and uh, the Blue Point pilot bearing kit, that part number is a SP20318. And this thing is awesome. It was right at 80 bucks, but like I say, this thing is awesome. We could have used that a uh, week before last when we was doing a clutch job. We ended up using my OTC puller set. It got the job done, but it still sucked. And Wally bought a snap on Wally. Now Wally's got some big moves coming for you guys, so I don't know why he got a wallet, because this damn thing's definitely going to be empty. But he did get a new wallet, so he towed around his driver's license and his snap-on receipts. And he also bought a Wobble Plus um, extension. This is a FXWP4, and that's Wally's pile. And we'll start with my stack. I got the six-piece Master Dutch Terminal Release Tool Kit. That part number is a SGDTT106, of course in red, as you guys can see. And I bought an MG325 with a cover because Bill's got one and it's bad to the bone. Plus Matthew Cox has got a green one. Matthew decided to leave his tools here at my shop because he's got so much money. He thought he might need one at my shop when he come to visit. So it's brand new and he also got a green cover. So, you know, when you big balling like Matthew, you can afford to buy some high dollar cool impact guns and leave them in somebody else's box. Just so when you come and visit, you have some cool toys to play with too. Anyway, that's what I got. I also got a CT761 quarter inch um, impact gun. And it's got an old wore out green boot that'll keep it from looking old and wore out. But anyway, that's what I got today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like always, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's totally free. It don't cost you not one single red dime. That way you'll always get the newest, latest, greatest junk that we got to show you. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful weekend, and we will catch y'all next time.